Hello, my name is Ian Roebuck and I write articles online. Today I'm going to be speaking on the subject of Ali Naki, also known as uh, Ali al-Hadi. He was the 10th Imam of Shia Islam. I have an article on this subject on InfoBarrel and uh, the address to it if you're on YouTube is down below the video and if you um, are just watching the video not on YouTube uh, it will appear above my head sometime during the video just uh, stop frame, uh, freeze frame it and uh, write it down go to it Ali Naki the 10th Imam of Shia Islam became Imam when he was seven or eight years old and uh, he is recognized both by uh, Shia Islam and also the Orthodox uh, Baha'i Faith as being a legitimate and divinely appointed Imam. The um, early days of Ali Naki, uh, he uh, would appoint a representative uh, to go out and speak to the people uh, and this set up the uh, situation later for what was known as the minor occultation of the 12th Imam. The minor occultation being a um, time in which the imam was hidden but alive and was uh, represented by various appointees, uh, actually four uh, appointees. Ali Naki then uh, set the example and uh, got the Shia used to this and uh, was uh, poisoned. Uh, as he grew older, he, of course, uh, the, he came into conflict with the caliphs because they wanted to rule the Islamic world and didn't want anybody uh, appointed from Muhammad's family to uh, be a uh, competitor. So he was poisoned, uh, very uh, nasty poison, very painful. Uh, uh, in this respect, he died uh, much like his... Um, predecessors, uh, most of whom had also been poisoned by the caliphs. You can read the um, entire article on InfoBarrel, and uh, have a great day.